right, so I'm here at the boat today and I am doing the install of the battery. Uh, so there's several steps to this. The battery's got to go in, the retainer for the battery's got to be made, and also the, the DC to DC charger and the AC to DC charger have to be wired and configured. And we've got to make sure all the fusing is right and everything uh, for that. Um, so um, join me for the rest of the episode. So this is a layout of uh, a prey and a prey is a hunter 336 and uh, this is what the manual page looks like so you can see that in the lazarette at the back here there is a house battery and a starter battery a prey itself is a little bit different we've actually got a second house battery and this second house battery is connected to the first house battery with a direct line directly underneath uh, the cockpit um, in the back from the lazarette on the port side to the lazarette on the starboard side. And as you can see, the, the start battery and the house battery are reversed from the way they are on the manual. So there's a closer look. What we're actually gonna do is we are gonna replace or change the house battery to starter battery two. So the line, the wire that goes from the start of this battery to the house battery today is gonna be redirected and go just to the start battery. It's very straightforward, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna connect it up uh, like that. This is a picture from the manual of the battery selector panel. And what we have is we have the start battery here and the house battery here, and that's both of the house batteries and they are connected to these two uh, points here where you've got the start battery connected directly to the bilge pump and the, the house uh, connections are all connected and the engine is connected to the other point. And with the selector, you can select one, two, or both. So we're gonna redo this a little bit. And what we're gonna do is the engine will be always connected to the um, to the start batteries, and uh, and the house battery will be selectable to off or um, the battery here or all three. So basically, you can parallel them if you want. Most of the time, this point will be connected to here, and the house battery will just do the house connections, which is what this line is. But unlike the what it was before. The engine will always be connected directly to the uh, to the start connection. That's very much like a car, so it's not massively um, new or different. It's just like it would be in a car. So here's the reminder of the schematic that we're going to. And in this episode, what we're going to do is install the DC to DC charger, install the AC to DC charger, install the lithium battery itself and then upgrade everything to include all these fuses and the fuses on each of the, the batteries here. We're also gonna add this line here, the ignition trigger, and, uh, and that's gonna go to the, uh, the helm. Um, and every time you turn the, the ignition on, you, you will be able to connect this up through the 20 amp charger. I'm not gonna do the half charge right now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I've got a couple of ideas, but basically I'm gonna leave that for now. So I'm here inside the back cabin of the boat and the batteries are, the batteries are basically just under here. So just this side. One's there, this is the lithium right here, right above this panel. And then further down next to that hole that goes up, is the um the the starting battery so uh when it comes to things like the dc charger that's right here uh, and
and the uh, this is the um, AC to DC charger as well. Uh, what you can see is that the DC goes between the lithium battery here and it then goes also to the starting battery over there. So um, I've wired them all up through that hole over there. So you can see the hole right over there and, uh, and they're basically here. Now they've, they're connected to the batteries already, um, but they've got their fuses removed, right? So all the fuses are removed. So now I can just safely connect these two up to this side of the battery. The other side are already done. So you can see that that side is already connected. Uh, and you can also see over here, the AC to DC connector is already here. And then this is the other side of it that will connect up there. I can't test that today because uh, in order to get the AC cable through the hole, I had to cut the end off and that's here. I need to buy um, a connector that fits onto that one. Basically a cattle lead, as we would call it a cattle lead, but it's basically an IEC, I think it's 320 dash something. Anyway, that's the, the one I need to get. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna connect the, the two really wires onto here. So the two, these two leads are gonna connect onto here and also the trigger. So the trigger is this point here. And then this whole thing is gonna be fit between this point and this point. So between these two panels and just gonna hang it upside down like that. And that's where it's gonna be. And then this panel here goes back on and uh, will basically uh, be back out of the way. Uh, and all this will be semi -access accessible from the panel outside, as you can see outside there. Uh, but, but mostly accessible from this side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So the DC to DC charger needs a uh, connection to the uh, ignition switch. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is go behind this panel here where the ignition switch is and uh, put a connection in and then drop it down below the floor so it'll go under here and then go right to the corner over here and then into where the batteries are, which is right there. So that's the plan for right now. Alright, so that's that's in pretty tight. Um, so that looks like it's it's gonna be fine. Right, so so now I've got I got everything in place. Um, the only thing left to do is to move this into its final position, and then. Uh, screw it in place so, so here we have it we've screwed it I've screwed it home now and as you can see the, it's got four screws in the corners I've connected up uh, the connector over there which is for the the AC to DC charger uh, but it's the DC side uh, it's connected up there and then the uh, the input and output side of the, the DC to DC charger is connected up so two wires here and two wires here and then the trigger line which is this wire here is connected up there and all the dip switches are set I did that in the previous video and uh, I've tidied up a little bit uh, not too much yet I'm gonna do a bit more of this later uh, but just to keep it out of the way and one thing that's missing is the uh, plug to go in here So what I'm doing here now is I'm taking this piece of three quarter by three quarter angled aluminium and I'm gonna, I marked it right here at the edge of where the battery stops and I'm gonna cut it and bend it around. I'm gonna make a little frame for the bottom of the device 
uh, such that I can then screw it down on the boat and it will uh, it will basically hold hold it in place or hold the bottom in place. So as you can see right here, I have screwed in a piece of L-shaped aluminium and uh, you can see I've also added these brackets in here which we use, uh, we'll put the um, straps through those so those will go over the top of the battery and back down the other side. Uh, the battery fits in, I've just tried it but I'll show you again in a minute and uh, uh, and then this piece will go across will go across the front. So I'll drill that piece now and put it in. But basically that will hold the battery in its uh, bottom place to stop it from moving side to side, forward, backwards. And then the strap will keep it down in so it doesn't pop off out of this uh, um, holder. And I'm only going to do the strap from side to side, just a single strap over the top. Uh, which is more than enough, uh, really, um, especially with this holding it around the side. It's very rigid. It's got a, four screws in this side, three screws in that side, and a screw in the back holding it in place. And it'll have a couple of screws on the front as well holding it in place. And that should hold it exactly where it is. Start battery and our new lithium battery. And so you see there's no fuse in this one and there's no fuse in this one. This is the AC to DC charger and this is DC to DC charger on the lithium side. Both of those need a 30 amp fuse. They're 20 amp systems, but a 30 amp fuse would be just fine. So it only blows if there's a problem. And then this one over here is the other side of the DC to DC charger coming off the started battery and back down to the DC to DC charger before coming back up to here. So I'm going to put these fuses in right now and then these two batteries will be complete. Uh, there's a bit of tidying up of wires needs to happen um, but apart from that they will be complete. So, uh, okay. Right, so we've got every all the fuses in position. What I'm going to do next is basically test the DC to DC charger. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically turn on the ignition and look at the uh, power. So I'm currently getting about four amps charge, and that's coming from the uh, from the solar. Now, if I turn this on, does that change? Yeah, there you go, it goes up to 24 amps. So 24 amps right now is going into the battery. So that's a positive test. We've got about 24 amps going to the the uh, battery. 20 of that cut from, from the DC to DC charger and four from the, from the uh, solar. All right, so now I've screwed these down, this piece down. And so now the whole thing is secure, ain't gonna move anywhere. So screwed down, it's uh, strapped to the, the uh, pieces as well. You can see in there, strapped around the, uh, uh, there's a, a ring a piece to strap it to. And it's uh, connected over the top and down the other side, double, double over. Um, so it's strapped together. I just need to tidy this area up over here and then we'll be done. And I'll probably eventually put some uh, um, some some stuff on that, some like, uh, you know, uh, looming basically. But there we have it. Alright, so what I've done there is I added, added this uh, this fuse here to protect this wire, uh, 200 amp uh, MRB fuse, and then obviously the shunts there, and then I also added a fuse, a one uh, amp fuse to this line, which is basically just a gauge at the helm, or not the helm, the nav station. So uh, that's that's pretty much all I have to do to this side, and it's just to bring it up um, so that so that it's got these fuses on.
uh, which brings it up to code, or not code, but uh, a, uh, ABYC, uh, AYBC, or ABYC, AYBC, up to ABYC code, or up to AYBC code. That one done. And this will no longer be house two. This will be starter two. And the reason I'm leaving this on the starter side is because if anything happens to the other battery, I've still got this to be able to switch over and carry on the race or whatever I'm doing. Um, it's, so it's redundancy. If I take that away and just have the starter battery, uh, then I couldn't really, I'd have to retire from a race. With this, I can basically uh, carry on racing. And, uh, and at the end of the race, then I can uh, you know, do something about it. And we'll see how this goes, maybe next year I don't have this, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment.